Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to the new, and welcome to a FNAF endgame known as Welcome to Sparkies. A rather interesting title, uh, considering it is a free room one actually, which is kind of interesting I guess. Uh, in today's video we're going to be hopping into a new game and seeing what this game is like, so yeah, without much further ado, let's uh, just press new game, shall we? I actually kind of like the uh, models on the uh, screen. They my look quite promising. I'm 19 years old, and I hadn't been in my hometown for a year or so. I lost my job as a pizza delivery boy. School was finally over, so it was time to enjoy my vacation. And, of course, I, you know, needed some cash to enjoy my vacation. So I decided to resort to the newspaper ads, since I was too lazy to go looking around town or searching online for one. I did a good five minutes of searching until I came across a rather interesting one. It was a job from one of my favorite childhood places, Sparky and Friends Theater Show. I mean, I was surprised that this place even still existed. Sparky's was the best place our mother would take us on our father's rest day, or me and my little brother just behaved long enough to get a special treat. Unfortunately, the job was for a security guard during the night, which is not really my type of position that I wanted, but... I, I just couldn't turn down Sparky. Things went on and on like that until August came. August 8th, if I remember correctly. Um, it was my first day on the job, and you know I had a little bit of cash left, so it was great to finally start getting an income again. But I didn't understand what I was exactly getting myself into. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> I gotta admit, this reminds me quite a bit of, uh, whatchamacallit, the Joy of Creation story mode, that's what it can, uh, reminds me of. Also, that date Good right there. Good security guard, and Hold welcome on. to Sparky's. My name is John. I'm the head of the establishment. Just uh, shut up, Liam. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Also, I heard that you got a promotion as a security guard for John Sparks Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, not really my ideal position, but... Hey, at least it's Sparky's. Alright, but uh, hey, I'm on vacation, so I need you to do something for me. The staff told me that the mouse animatronic uh, whiskers had an issue performing to the stage this day. He wasn't moving correctly, as he was programmed to do so. The scary part is that some people reported that they heard some kind of like animal-like noises coming from his voice box. Mouse squeaking noises, to be specific. Wait, for real? Yeah, I, I wouldn't worry too much, uh, since they're programmed to mimic noises and stuff. Uh, anyways, today you're gonna repair whiskers. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a box that contains a bunch of wirings that will allow you to connect whiskers to the computer. Then I'll start troubleshoot and find what's the problem and fix it. Okay, so we gotta troubleshoot one of the animatronics. That is actually very interesting. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a cool concept actually there's a lot of fan games that i kind of wish kind of took this route where instead of like oh you just come in and uh you're at the ground floor grab the key located in the security office before going to the first floor oh okay cool uh as i was gonna say though um it would be cool to see more fan games uh, ta uh try and do something like this but then again <laughs> it's kind of reasonable why. Oh, hello. Great. Now go to the first floor by using the elevator. What if I wanted to uh, use the stairs, though? <laughs> go extra exercise in. Uh, let's see. Shut that just in case. Oh, okay. Nothing's over there. Nothing important is over there <laughs> to us at the moment. Oh, okay. That is locked. So... I was about to say, where is that button at? Uh, it blended in pretty well. And I'm actually kind of surprised that there's no, uh, cheap jump scares yet. That would actually be kind of, uh, cool. <laughs> Just randomly getting jump scared by something. I don't know what, but I mean, that'd actually be kind of an interesting... Why do I keep saying... Okay. <laughs> Uh, the box. It's located in the storage room. 
Then find the door for the kids area. It should be around the arcade. Okay, fine. Find the box, do whatever. Ooh. You know, I gotta admit, the set design for this game is very detailed. This actually feels like a location you would go to in like the night uh <laughs> I guess the nineties or the early around this time point that this is set. Ooh. Who are you? So we got a pit I got a flat Okay, I did not even realize how to flashlight. <laughs> Hello, I guess you're Sparky, correct? Follow the rules, don't poop on the floor. <laughs> Subscribe to Cory X Kinchin. Fair enough. <laughs> Aw, I like this place so far. I really do. So, oh, hello. What is this? Oh, wait. Oh, it's a bathroom. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Kind of got pushed by the door. All right. Man, you know what would be creepy, actually? So you know how I was talking about, like, the little cheap jump scares and all that earlier? Oh, I found an arcade. Okay. Uh, imagine, like, you're just walking around the corner and just... <laughs> seeing an animatronic peering back at you. All right, let's see. That would actually be a really tense moment. Oh, hello. What are these? Oh. I was gonna say, they're just like boxes that look different from the others. That might be important. <laughs> and shut that. I don't know why I want to keep shutting the doors, but I do. This kind of makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> just, ah, uh, yes. And, oh, okay. I was gonna say, it was somewhere in the arcade that they stated that the, you know, this area is in. Ooh. Ayo, hey, euphoric brothers. I go to the main area where the stage would be. There should be dining tables out there and probably a playground on the left side. Then find your office. And that's about it. Good night, man. Alright, thank you, Liam. I was gonna say, euphoric brothers, <laughs> jot down notes. This is how you make a kid in kindergarten esque area. Also, why are we moving so slow? <laughs> I guess this box weighs quite a bit. So, okay. I don't think our office is down here, correct? I I want to say it's not, but at the same time, I do not know. Okay, that's the electrical room. Uh, restrooms, it looks like. Yeah, women's and men. Ooh. Actually, <laughs> well, I, was about, I was straight up about to walk into the women's bathroom. And... I Wait. Can I actually go in here? I can't. Okay. <laughs> it was worth a shot, I guess. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. Actually, no. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna spring up the point of the animatronic pointing around the corner again. I was like, no. <laughs> I don't want to repeat myself. Alright, so. Bro, I am moving so slow. Come on. This box cannot be that heavy. I mean, it looks like it would weigh like five tons. Not... <laughs> Not five tons, five pounds. Ooh, hello. Fry section. Or, right, oh, wait. <laughs> I just got stuck on a shelf-looking thing. What is that? No, it does actually look like a shelf. I, <laughs> How did I get stuck on that? I do not know. And look at the merchandise. That actually looks... Uh, I would definitely buy one of those if <laughs> they were ever released. They look so cuddly. I definitely. Why am I? Oh, uh, <laughs> please let me just step over. Bro, I'm like a full on adult. Why can't I step over the rail? <laughs> Whatever this is. I am no child. So I gotta admit, uh, I know I kind of briefly touched on this a second ago, but I really like how this is like. Designed feels like an actual authentic location for kids and <laughs> whatnot. I don't know why, but it just feels nice. And this dude actually, I, I was kind of teasing the Euphoric Brothers a second ago, but he actually reminds me of those uh content form characters. What is it like, Chef Pigster or whatever? 
<laughs> this dude straight up looks like uh, that content farm character. If you know what I'm talking about, then you would ought to be aware. Uh, save the game before you play. Save only once. You don't want to fill up your say thoughts. Okay. Who says for tips? I don't need tips right now. Oh, hello. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay, that turns off that. Uh, it's... Oh, I can shock somebody. And I got the flashlight. Okay. So... Oh, hi. Uh, I don't know what i do for you, but okay. Please say that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, cool. And I saw this light up. Oh, hi. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm kind of getting the mechanics so far. Wait, hello? Oh, hi. Okay. I was about to say, I heard something. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I think I heard a door sound. But I wasn't sure. So, oh, there you are. I kind of <laughs> <laughs> Probably could have gotten it a lot easier looking that way, but I didn't even really think about it. I was just like, oh yeah, I can, I see it, I can get it high. Okay, so that's what that's for. Take it, you. I, the mechanics are very interesting so far. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I, I think part of why I keep saying like interesting and whatnot Okay. So I guess I'm tired. Like, I'm recording this kind of late. <laughs> so I can have it done and ready, you know? And so my brain's just kind of, like, simplistic mode. <laughs> it's just, like, supposed to be asleep. Hello. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. Uh, panda man. <laughs> panda man. Alright. Uh... Oh, God, that is creepy. Oh, I can actually hide. How did I not know I could hide? Also... That was straight up, like, the only button I had not pressed was W. Like, looking at the thing here. So, that actually kind of makes sense. Did you... Oh, I think he did leave, actually. It's <laughs> like, I, don't... I didn't hear the door shut. Also, wait, are you stepping on the same glass bottle? It's like, if so, that's fine, right? How small are you breaking those pieces? <laughs> like, I kind of want to know, actually. Are they going to be, like, microscopic pieces by the time, like, we're done here? Hey, maybe, actually. I, <laughs> I, I really want to go look outside that window and see. Because I feel like... Oh, hi, uh, uh, ch get oh my god. <laughs> I cannot click for smack. I, I don't know why. Hi, who, uh, oh, oh yeah, okay. I was about to say, that is not Mr. Piggy. <laughs> I don't know why I got Mr. Piggy. Shifter. Hmm, <laughs> that, that kind of reminds me of, like, a name I, uh, Given for a hello. That actually caught me off guard. <laughs> that actually oh, that gave me like I, I don't know what to consider. Like I don't, I don't think it's like chills because like I <laughs> oh, that felt weird. Like it just sent weird feelings down my arms and stuff. I I guess like just a. I don't know. Anyway, so I was gonna say, I kinda had like a name for like a hipster frog or whatever, and it was like Leapster. <laughs> it's been like a hot minute since I talked about it, so I'd... I don't know. Hipster, hopster, something. <laughs> I'm kinda playing words like that. Where I was like, oh yes. <laughs> this would be like a very, very nice, uh, 
Well, maybe not very, very nice, but definitely kind of an interesting way to consider that. Hello. Also, wait. Oh, hello. <laughs> a little merchandise on a desk. Does it change every time, actually? Uh, if it does actually change, like, in terms of patterns and stuff, I'd like that. Because it kind of keeps the game fresh and not as repetitive, actually. Which is... A lot of games tend to do where it's like, no matter how many times you play it, it's, you know, pretty much the same gameplay again and again. It's like, no, <laughs> that's not fun. Not in the slightest. But, hi. Huh. I I'm surprised that the chef is the one showing up at the door. I mean, that's fine, because he's kind of simple, actually. But, oh, hi. <laughs> hey, little uh, plushie, was there a fire? Imagine there was, like, a fire, and I just stopped it from getting the fire extinguisher. Oh, no. Oh, hey. Don't be slamming the doors like that. You don't be paying the bills around here. Technically, you do, because you, <laughs> you bring in the customers. <laughs> but then again, you're not the one actually, like, paying the bills. Wait. Oh, there you are. Oh, snap. I really do not want to die to you again, uh, Sparky. You're my... Well, you're the character I play as. It's his favorite character, so... <laughs> please don't kill me, good sir. We're already, like, halfway through. Not bad. Wow, okay, that's not creepy at all. Just staring at the door. <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess, go off. I, I, don't, I suppose. Why not? <laughs> I can't really stop you from doing whatever. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh! I just looked up slightly. I would. Ooh, hi. I'm glad I looked behind me because he was probably like a millisecond off from killing me. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, it's you again. I actually kind of like how this is set up. Where it's not like you had to like actually use the mouse for everything. Oh. Like you can, like you got certain mouse interaction. But it's mainly like W, A, S, and D. Which I actually can appreciate. A little bit of inclusion of the key a or keyboard and mouse. Pretty nice. <laughs> Some people say it's pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. Behind. Voila. There we go. Man. I gotta admit, I like. Ooh, I don't know, actually. I was gonna say, I like how the mechanics, like, a certain character smash. <laughs> like, for example, these two here and whatnot. Like, how one requires the, uh, light to be, uh, flash on them to have them go away. The other you gotta hide from. And it kind of tests your skill of, like, knowing... Which characters which and how to deal with them properly. Uh, and... I mean, that's kind of the only, like... Duo, I guess you can say. Like, <laughs> kind of air quotes around that slightly. Uh, in this game. That kind of... Those are the only two characters so far in this game that have, like... Conflicting mechanics. And that's the thing. Like... Not a lot of fan games, or even the official FNAF games, do that, honestly. And, that's fine. Like, uh, not every game- oh. Dang, okay, I'm gonna be, uh, back, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. As I was gonna say a second ago, uh, before <laughs> we got jump scared, was... Whenever, uh, games of this caliber have... You know, mechanics that kind of overlap and 
are a bit entwined with one another to some extent. It honestly is quite... Oh, hi. It's honestly quite nice to uh, see, honestly. Like, uh... Example. <laughs> Actually, a few examples here. Um... The Joy of Creation Attic uh, section, right? Where... You have to kind of decide, do I want to go for uh, Creation first? Do I want to go for Golden Freddy first? Uh, same with UCN with Bonnie and Foxy. Uh, you know, <laughs> so on and so forth, you know? Where, like, a lot of the mechanics kind of just overlap in a way. Uh, let's... Oh, you're under the uh, desk. Alright. So, okay. You're still not here. Oh, hello, Panda Man. Okay. Getting quite close to the end of the night, which is actually not bad. So, where's that at? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like, I know it's kind of on the left side. It looks like it's on that side. But it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I really like the, uh... Alright, something I really enjoy about the, uh... Mechanic with the plush is that... It's not always like a one-spot-esque thing where it's like, Oh, it constantly spawns here or there. It's randomized. I mean, yeah, all the spots are essentially the same. <laughs> Played enough times. You kind of get used to the, uh, spots. Which is not bad, honestly. I really like that. I, I really enjoy the fact of how that is, uh, handled, I guess. I'm not too sure. Also, I just realized, what is our PC even hooked into, actually? Where is that? Oh, there it is. Like, there's no cords or anything hooked up to that PC. So I really do not know how that thing is operating <laughs> at all. Alright. And, and, oh. That is why I was not able to move. I was pressing caps lock. <laughs> that is lovely. I was like, why can I not move? Uh, I thought I got stuck in spot for a sec. I was like, wait a second, hold on. Big strength. I was so concerned. I was like, wait, I'm probably about to die, aren't I? No. Very good. Just, <laughs> just one finger over, and I was like, oh, or one button over, I suppose. Depending on how you want to look at that. Okay. At this point in time, I really did not hear him at the door. So, I'm... Oh. Did we do it? I guess we did it. Wait, I just thought about it. Does the reboot or troubleshooting actually finish... Ow. Oh, that was actually kind of bright. Does the troubleshooting process actually stop whenever we, uh... Turn off the lights? Ooh. I like how we can actually walk around now. Let's see, can I... Oh. <laughs> they got an invisible wall. Man, okay. Oh. Hey, yo. Wait. Where the heck did Whiskers go? I... I... Hello? Oh, oh. Congrats. Now leave the room and lock. Dude, I just... Whiskers just... just... Hello? Uh, wait, I, I actually can't leave. Wait, so... I, I guess we actually have to go down here. The basement door is open. He probably went there. I should deactivate him before something happens to that... thing. I'm gonna record this. Just in case. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. So... Oh, no. Oh, the... No. No, no, no. Please. <laughs> I was kind of joking about that, uh... The... Cheap jump scares earlier. Please don't. Oh, that... I don't know why that's actually terrifying me right now. Hide and seek. Oh, no. We gotta play hide and seek with whiskers. No. <laughs> no. No, thank you. Man. 
Hello? Uh... Wait. Where can I go? Wait. Uh... Oh, I gotta go down, I think. Okay. Also, like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Didn't really explain. To be continued. Okay. Oh, I see you there, Whiskers. <laughs> I like how he's... Uh, that's actually kind of cool how he's just hiding off to the uh, side there. But, uh, yeah, that has been Welcome to Sparky's. Uh, like I stated earlier, a rather interesting little, uh... Experience, I guess. <laughs> that, uh... Takes the classic kind of point and click, uh style that the early FNAF games had and kind of mixed it with new um like with a 3D environment and models and things like that kind of I guess a good example of it is like a you know using FNAF 1's um uh, point and click style with like security breach or you know something like that and you know matching it into one experience and you know, I actually, even though this was kind of a short game, a, a demo, essentially, this was still rather enjoyable to play through. And I, I don't know if the game is cancelled or if it's still in production, but if it is still getting worked on, I would love to see the uh, full uh, game actually get released one day. But uh, yeah, anywho, this has been your captain speaking. I hope you have enjoyed, and... Uh, at least to some extent, of course, and if he did, I hope to catch y'all around in the next one. But, uh, as for now, this is where we are gonna end today's video, though. Uh, so yeah, bye-bye for now, I suppose.